Let's check out the quality. Let's check out the quality. My first, my first design. I could freaking cool. See? But overall, I love this stuff. <laughs> Greeting. How do you fur? How do you fur? Is that Shakespeare? Regardless of how you're feeling, just know that you're doing a great and wonderful job at whatever you are striving to do. And that being said, also I'm here. I'm here to show my she Universe Media people how to create some AI art on your phone. So this is the app that I use. I use an app called Photo Leap. Photo Leap is a free app, but they do have in-app purchases. And I believe you can get it on Android and iPhone. So this is the app here. So you can go down, go up, they have different stuff, you know, AI creation stuff. So I go to what it is called AI tools. And I go to, of course, the text to image. My favorites are the text to images because being able to have some words create into an image to me is like um, a very useful, way to create you you can really brainstorm because we usually brainstorm through words anyway if you ever told anybody an idea it's really brainstorming and you um say the idea with using your words so having the text to uh image it really helps put things into a visual perspective how things can look so let's do what's what's a good one let's do Let's be inspired by Beyonce in her country album. So, let's say black. And then it's just very interesting how lo uh, large language models work. Large language models are what is used um, in things like ChatGPT and AI um, text to image platforms that uh, generate all these words, identify them, and be able to identify uh, and create a picture based off um, the definitions of the words they have. So let's do black cow girls. Let's do this. Make you have to prompt it. Make a image of black cow girls on the moon let's let's do it not not the moon let's do like another planet like mars or something on the planet mars this is my prompt my prompt okay put that in there you have choices of things how you want them to look so you have Floral, animated, fantasy. Fantasy is my favorite. Fantasy is all my favorite. A lot of my art prints are, are created in the fantasy one. So we're gonna press fantasy and we're gonna let it create. Let's see what pops up. So that's what pops up too. And of course AI, you know, they don't have the best faces, but you just scroll through and figure out what face works for you. But that looks cool. You can see it. That looks amazing. It looks actually really good. Wow. <laughs> I gotta save that. Now, some AI platforms, they do not allow you to save it without the watermark. Mark, that's fine. If you wanna be like me, screenshot the thing, crop it, and call it a day. Um, but, Oh, this is cute. There are some platforms that lets you either enhance the face or 
lets you um, edit the face every, however you would like. Is her whole butt out? Wait, maybe she got, okay. You know, when they do black women, they don't play. Like, the, the, the bust be out. So if, let's say if you didn't want someone as curvy. Oh, this is very cute. I like this. You would have to be specific in saying um, how you, what you would want her to wear exactly. Um, just be alert that some um, AI tools in these photo platforms, and you can also do this in Canva, they, they're kind of limited in the way, you know. They're, they're like Pinterest limited. Like, you know, we got to type black girl melanin just to, to just to get into the algorithm of what we have. You know what I'm saying? So it's fine. It's you, you get specific and you work with what you have. Um, however, what we're going to do is take the ones we like and create something to put on a shirt or a print and we're going to create that in Canada. In um, a video, I showed you guys that I used an AI app called Photo, Photo Leap. Photo Leap, right? I used that app. I generated some uh, photos, whatever photos I liked. Um, picked out the most accurate ones. When I say the most accurate, that means the ones that um, don't have too many problems with uh, facial features so I took three and I'm going to um, airdrop them to my, my MacBook now there we go we're about to upload them get them on a MacBook there we go that's load in there okay so while it's loading we're gonna go back here right so what we can do is first of all you can use these designs for anything um right now i'm in my in canva and this is where i create most of my content for my personal use uh orient uh opportunities and she universe media so um and anything else in between so what I'm going to do is we're going to do shirts, anything. We got shirts designs for, um, universe media. We can go here. So as you can see, this is where I design. I'm playing with some shirt designs. So that's an AI image, uh, created, um, AI images. So I might be asking why am I continuing, you know, using AI images? Um, I feel like as far as you creating merch, and I know people do this all the time, like they create collages of uh, different artists, um, as far as their face, maybe not their work, but as far as their face, you know, like people make collages of Aaliyah or Beyonce or, you know, any musical artist, anything, they make their faces and they sell them, which is perfectly fine. However, I wanted to see of course, just using AI, how I can generate Im images and not have to worry about like even the chance of copyright. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be my favorite one. I don't know where I'm going to put that. It's, it's It might be all over the place. Um, I know you see like the clothes are kind of like, you know, like she going to Hogwarts, but that's perfectly fine because who don't want to be in Hogwarts? Now. What I'm going to do with this image, before we completely upload it, we're going to go to Enhancer. So Enhancer helps um, with the pix pixelation of the image. So choose a file. We're going to do uh, one as of right now. We're going to do this one right here. So it's going to say, I click Enhance Face, Enhance Image. Now I'm thinking about the background. Now we're, that's what we're gonna think about. We're gonna think about what we can do with this background. Now, as you can see, like with the other images, everything is circular, like, or a cutout. You know, this is a cutout. You know, this can have some stuff here. We're gonna figure that out. But cutout, circular, um, 
you know, a cutout, just a simple cutout and some, um, or circular. Cause I just feel like it, it, it looks better on the shirt when it's not completely blocky. However, it can honestly look how, which, however you want it to look. It, it's your pre- preference, preference, how you want it to look. So I'm going to probably cut her, um, cut out the uh, background though. So add design. All right. She in there. You see how like that's, that's the thing of, with, uh, some, you know, AI generation apps, like the, you know, the face is just, is they don't, they don't got it perfect yet but it's it's okay because sometimes you just got to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling paying attention to what the face look like paying attention to the hands her hands her hands look pretty accurate like everything looks pretty accurate so we're gonna go to edit photo and we're gonna go to uh background remover there we go so the good thing about the background rem- remover, it's it's not going to. You you can ex- expand uh the image of her. More. And place her in the middle, it's right here, right. So this is where we can figure out what we're gonna do with her. Now we're going to go to, no, let's go up, elements. Now on the side, of course, print your design quality t-shirts, right? We're going to, let's pick her, but let's pick the color. This is how, this is what lets you see. Let's do gray. Let's see how that looks on a gray shirt. Okay. All right, let's see what color we gonna work on. Yeah, she would never wear that, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, so, <laughs> cause we all know how stock images are, but it's 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 okay, cause the shirt is is gonna be on us. So these are okay. If anybody has never used Canva, Canva really does have a lot of things. As far as anybody who's on Universe Media on a team, you will be able to use this and I'll be able to add you as um as a member to this, you know, whatchamacallit, and then you'll be able to have access to certain files. So let's see, I'm not sure. Hmm. Do I want flowers? I don't know if I want flowers. This is stuff that's been on here. Wait, hold on. Can I change the color of this dragon? I can change the color of that dragon. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Hmm. Okay. I'm just playing around with it, seeing how, like, what if it looked like if she it sat on her shoulder? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just going to be one color. Okay. And we can change that color if necessary. But we're just playing around with it. Um, what else can we add? I'm not sure what else we can add. But we are going to get some different images. Let's say um, we wanted to add another image. Look at my your eye. Can y'all hear my computer sounding like it's about to blow up? Okay. <laughs> Let's do choose one more. We're going to do the same thing. Let's choose her. Upload her, enhance her face. Enhance image. Lord, I'm 
Because it's taken 20 years. Here we go. Add design. All right, she in there. Now, what I'm going to do with her, though, we're going to edit photo. Remove background for her. Okay. But what we're going to do with her, we're going to make her slightly smaller. And we could also put her in the back. Don't play, don't play, computer. Sound like it's about to blow up. Let's go to layer. Send backwards. Send backwards. There we go. Does she look cool in the back? Let's see. No, not over there. Keep her over here. I'll probably move her over. Let me see. Move over slightly. Yeah, move her over. But what we're going to do is flip her. So she's facing the other side. Oh, Lord. I hope this... <laughs> you can't hear my computer. Sounded like it's about to explode. Y'all know how it is when you have an old-ass MacBook. See, don't piss me off, though. Y'all gonna hear me cursing at this stuff. Y'all just flip. Horizontally. There we go. I think I want her at the bottom, though. What could be cool is to have something on her hat. Let's see if we can find something. Do we want to stick with dragons? Let's do an owl. Okay, hold on. Let me see. I don't know. Owl's been coming up. So I think an owl will be cool just to have that on somebody's hat. She looks cool. Hold on. Okay, all right, effects. Let's see if we could change her color. The owl. Shadows, let's do. I don't know. I don't know if I like any of these colors. Of course, we want to represent the colors. That is, that's what I'm using, like, any, like, all of the themed colors for, um, Universe Media, so I'm using that so I could use, I like this, I like Mystic, though. Mystic looks <laughs> very cool. I like Mystic. Okay, okay. But if y'all can see, like, the example of what I'm doing with all of it. Um, and of course you would be able to print this shirt for only $20, only $20. And let's say you continue, would I put this, would I leave this on a, um, let me, let me, let me zoom in. Let me zoom into her. That's actually very cool. Oh my god. I'm just trying to zoom in, ma'am. That looks pretty cool. Let 
Now, even if I wanted to like break this up, like put um put them individually on a shirt that could work, and then work out some lettering under it that could work. Also, you can use that. We are gonna figure out how we can like uh, Photoshop uh, different backgrounds. Um, in like using different um, cutouts of photos and then f um, photoshopping it in different backgrounds and then we can use that on um, as prints on bags I would may I would maybe like this better on a bag than a shirt because that's an option as well like I would put this on a bag than a shirt and I would put some lettering on that but that's definitely the basics of what I'm doing. And then in the beginning of the video, y'all saw that I had made a shirt for um, one of the designs I made a couple months ago um, just to check the quality. And I feel like um, I, I really do like I like the quality as far as they're using airbrush. I've, of course, you know, I don't mind airbrush at all. Airbrush can, you know, last very long. So, um, definitely ask me if you, if anybody has any questions, any ideas, anything, please message me, um, text me. I put my information, um, in the doc, of course, it'll be always be in an email and let me know what y'all think about how to create different uh, designs um of course one of the things I always want for the team um members to not just think of the, us as um somebody working under somebody and only working with but like really partnering up and creating a collective because we're all artists at the end of the day we're all artists so we're really all creating a collective and partnering up with each other because we all have ideas that deserve some attention and deserve some planning and deserve some funding and I feel like creating designs just small designs like this and being able to sell them as shirts bags prints whatever can really help us fund whatever ideas that we have to bring them in fruition. So, um, 